I was only two years out of law school and my boss came to me and handed me a file which was this big and it was a brain damaged baby case and he said I want you to represent this obstetrician in this case and go to trial. Would you like to learn what happened? Come join me as I share with you this remarkable information. Hi, I'm Jerry Ojinski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law in the state of New York. My boss told me I was ready to try the case. He told me I knew enough to go ahead and go head to head with the attorney who was trying the case for the injured victim. At that time in my legal career, I was representing doctors and hospitals who were sued. And now, my boss felt I had enough knowledge, enough information, enough experience to go ahead and defend an obstetrician in a brain damaged baby case. That was remarkable. What was even more fascinating to me was who was trying it on the other side. Who was the attorney representing the injured victim? It turns out he was one of the best trial attorneys in the country. Somebody who knew, if you'd mention his name, every single trial attorney in New York would know him immediately. Why? Because he had gotten fantastic results, he was a terrific trial attorney, and now, my boss said, go try your case against him. Now here I am, somebody with only two years of experience out of law school, trying cases, learning, learning at the hands of my mentor, my boss, who is a fantastic defense trial attorney, and he tells me, go try the case. Well, that's exactly what I did. I had to prepare and I spent days and weeks going through the preparations, meeting with my doctor, meeting with my experts. And now came time for trial. I walk into court and the attorney sees me. I introduce myself. He doesn't know who I am, but I certainly know who he is. I introduce myself and he must have had this impression in his mind that who is this that they're sending in here, this baby-faced looking kid? What could he possibly know and why are they using him to defend this doctor in this case? With the help of my mentor, who was this fantastic trial attorney, I had a couple of tricks up my sleeve. And I'm happy to say that we did go ahead and pick a jury on this case and I learned a tremendous amount of information. And then we made opening remarks in court on this particular brain damaged baby case. And again, I learned something terrific. And then something important happened. I realized there was absolutely no possible way I could take this case to verdict. So you may ask yourself, why then did I go forward with all the steps going to trial? Well, the reality is that I had to. I had to get the plaintiff's attorney to recognize that we had some leverage here and that his case wasn't truly worth what he was asking for it. And the only way to do that was to show him that we were fully ready to go to trial. And now, even though he knew he had a good case, you never truly know what a jury is going to do. And this was a remarkable experience, having the opportunity to go up against one of the best trial attorneys in the entire country. And here I was only two years out of law school. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you to give you an insight and an understanding to one case that I handled many, many years ago. And let me just reassure you that I've been in practice now more than 25 years, and this event happened so, so long ago, but it's vividly in my memory. You know, if you do have legal questions or concerns about your own particular matter, whether it's a medical malpractice case, an accident matter, or even a wrongful death matter, and this happened here in New York, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. This is something that I do every single day and I'd love to talk with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a great day.